This short video will show you how to use the new library search search tool on the main WMU Libraries homepage to search for books, video recordings, including streaming media, and journal articles and other research materials in the university library's collections and subscriptions. The search box is located in the middle of the main WMU Libraries homepage. And you have three main options when you're using this from the main library homepage. Searching everything, which searches all the materials that we subscribe to. You can also select books and media to focus your search just on books and videos and music recordings. Or you can click on articles to focus on scholarly journal materials. I'm going to show you how to search everything. The search everything option is the default option. Type in the name of a topic. Uh, name of a book, name of an article that you're interested in. Click on the orange search button and that will run your search. When you do a search in library search, you're going to get a list of materials of, on many different types when you're searching everything. Anything that contains the keywords that you typed in. There will be articles, there will be books, there may be conference papers, there may be videos. So this search that I did on tropical forests was in everything and I got 115,000 materials. This first item at the top is a journal article. You can see it's from Nature, 1974. It is an online journal article. If I want to see this article, I can click the View Online button to access the full text of this article right here through this library search. If I scroll down, I also see that we have a book available, Seasonally Dry Tropical Forest Ecology and Conservation. This is an online book, just like the book up above. If I'm interested in seeing this, I can click the View Online button to see that item as well. Now you're also going to see references to physical books and physical journal articles. So right underneath this online book, here's a book called The Conservation Atlas of Tropical Forests. And this is a physical book available at Waldo maps department and it gives you the call number to be able to find it up there. Now you can also click the get it button to get the call number for items that you're looking for if they don't appear immediately underneath the citation. This is a very big list of materials when you're searching everything. There are ways of filtering this list down to things that you're interested in focusing on and you're going to do that you want to use the facets on the left hand side. Many students are looking just for peer-reviewed journal articles, so you can do that by clicking on the peer-reviewed journal articles link on the left-hand side. That will filter just to peer-reviewed materials. If you're interested just in full text online materials, you can use the full text online link. Available in the library will limit and filter the search to only materials physically available in the university libraries. Now, as I said, searching everything searches all the different types of materials that we have. So on the left hand side I can also filter by resource type, articles, audiovisual, books, conference proceedings, databases, and more. I can limit by publication date using the little date slider so I could focus on materials published really recently and click the refine button and that will change this search to just bring up really recent materials. I can also filter by subject so for those of you doing really serious research, trying to dig down to something really specific, that's another way of doing this. So you'll want to explore these facets on the left-hand side to see how you can use them. Now the other thing to keep in mind, when you do a search in everything, the default search gives you everything that we have available, either physically or in an online subscription, in other words, in full text. If you want access to materials that we may not have at Waldo, but that we can get for you from other libraries, you want to expand your search. And now on the left-hand side, you'll see Expand My Results. Clicking Expand Beyond My Library will redo this search and add in materials and citations to materials that we don't necessarily have, but that we can access for you from other libraries through our interlibrary loan service. Now you can also use the Everything Search to search for articles and references that you found in other articles that you've read or through searching places like Google Scholar. What you can do is paste in the title of a particular article that you're looking for and actually that's the wrong one. 
click the search button and if we have that article it will show up at the top and so this is an article I had a citation for and here's the article and again to see it I can click view online to access it now another um, tool in this library search that you should be aware of is the uh, e-shelf if you want to save things for future reference you can put a check in the little star next to each item doing that highlights the star in orange and adds that item to your e-shelf which is at the top of the page if I click the e-shelf you'll see that the things that I just put stars in are listed here and I can export them either through email or through uh, to EndNote, RefWorks, Delicious. RIS would take it to places like Mendeley. Okay, so this is another option for getting these materials um, in uh, so that I could use them for future reference. These options are also available um, next to each item when you click the details tab under the save export link on the right hand side so I can email this particular item I can print it if I wanted a permanent link for this record I'd click permanent URL easy bib and note ref works and so on if you have any questions about using library search please talk to your librarian